Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and how light reflects off a concave mirror. A concave mirror is a curved mirror that curves inward in the middle. You know, kind of like you're walking into a cave. And in this video, I'll have a demonstration and we'll show ray of incidence, ray of reflection, angle of incidence and angle of reflection, line of normal, the focal point, the center of curvature, and what the vertex is. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at a couple things. We have the curved mirror here. Let's first identify the ray of incident and ray of reflection. And with this curved mirror, the light going towards the mirror is the ray of incident. And the ray of reflection is coming off the mirror. And no matter what angle you are at, they are always, the angle is going to be equal. So you can see as I move it around, the ray of incident is always equal angle of reflection. And obviously, if you put it directly on, it's going to reflect back. So let's move it around just a little bit. You can see and identify the ray of reflection, ray of incident, incident reflection. Now, let's try to identify the focal point. And we can do this. I'm going to turn on all three lights. And where they intersect is your focal point. And I'm going to put a dot here. Okay. So here is the focal point. Now, one of the things I didn't identify was when we go back to the uh, just a single is the point that it reaches the mirror and reflects is the vertex. So the vertex would be right here. So let's go back to the focal point. One more time and identify that. Focal point here. And then I'm going to measure that. Now, if I double that to 50 and I've made a mark right there, this is the focal point doubled, you get something called the center of curvature. And basically, it is a, an equal distance from every point on the mirror. So if we put the mirror here, and if that sounds familiar, yes, that would be the radius of a circle. Because remember, this curve will eventually make a circle. So that is the center of curvature. This next part, where you're going to identify the line of normal, if you take the ray of incident and then the ray of reflection and divide it directly in half and draw a line, you're going to get the line of normal. And I'll turn this off and you can see what we have here. So here is the line of normal. Now, what we can do is if we shine the ray through the focal point, it should be parallel at any angle to the line of normal. So I'm going to shine it through the focal point and notice that the line of normal and the reflected ray of reflection are parallel, regardless of what angle I'm at. Okay, here's a different angle, and now see that they're parallel. I think that's pretty cool. I'll go one more angle, an extreme angle, and always parallel to the line of normal. Now let's do one other thing. Now let's contrast that with when we shine it through the uh, center of curvature and notice that it always reflects back at the same angle. Uh, so the angle of incidence will equal the angle of reflection regardless of um, angle. See as I change the angle notice how as it goes to the center of curvature that it reflects directly back. Oops I missed it there. Okay which I find kind of interesting Interesting. Okay. 